Hey everybody. So for this video today, this is a little bit off topic from what I usually cover on this channel, but I wanted to make a video of it because there might be other people in my situation. Because as you may know, due to current circumstances, it can be very difficult to get an HDMI capture card uh, through regular retail channels. So brands like your Elgato and such um, are out of stock in all the major retailers. And so this one I found very cheap on eBay. Um, it is a generic USB HDMI capture card. So this is the device you will need if you would like to capture HD video on your computer. Um, so some people will use it to capture footage from video games. Some people will use these to make a webcam out of real cameras um, like I have here. And so that is the purpose for which I bought it. So I wanted to buy it. Do a quick review hopefully it works and of course the biggest benefit to this little device right here is the price it was $15.99 shipped on ebay and so that's kind of a nice price to get something like this for considering that the elgato name brand of this type of device is over 130 dollars and it could be up to triple that currently with price gouging on ebay um, and now of course this one will not be as good. I can guarantee that before I even test it out. Um, but if it gives us a stable signal, I'm happy with that. There are similar capture cards on eBay for about the same price that are reviewed on YouTube and they're essentially garbage with um, very, very low quality 720p output. Whereas this particular capture device is supposed to accept up to a 4K input and it outputs up to 1080p. And now it doesn't say 1080p 60, 1080p 30. Um, so we're going to find out today. And so hopefully these will work with what I have here. And so the purpose of this video is to show if it works with cameras. I am not a gamer, so I cannot test it with game consoles. So if uh, streaming on Twitch and that is your thing, this may or may not be a useful video for you. But let's just see the quality of video that comes out of this capture card. I'm going to be using it with several cameras here. I'm going to be using it in OBS at pretty much the default recording settings. So I'm not going to tweak too much and we're just going to see how it functions. On the front side of this device, we have a USB port and it is not blue. So that signifies this is likely a USB 2.0 connection. And I will be still plugging it into a USB 3.0 port, see if that helps any. Um, and of course, on the other side, there is the HDMI input and there are no other ports on the device. And so in theory, we should be getting audio and video through this to your PC where you can capture it, stream it with the application of your choice. And so I will be testing it today with a few cameras here. I have a GoPro Hero 6. So this is the 6 Black, puts out a very beautiful 1080p60 um, clean HDMI uh, feed. Um, I also have the Panasonic Lumix G7 right here. Um, also puts out a very nice HDMI feed at 1080p60, I believe as well as the Canon camcorder. This is an older one, an HV30, but it also has HDMI output, and it's still very useful for capturing things um, in high resolution, 1080p. Uh, so that works out very well. So we're gonna test it with these cameras, see how it works, and um, again, bone stocks settings in OBS, and we will see how it functions. All right, let's try these out. All right, so right now we are using the audio from the Panasonic Lumix G7, as well as video feed from it. Um, I'm just recording straight up in OBS. Uh, these are default settings. To me, the picture looks pretty darn crisp, so we're gonna have to see how it turns out. Um, but just getting some close-ups, we can see how the footage looks here, which to me, I think this looks pretty darn good, to be honest with you. Um, I am just pressing the button for autofocus on this lens. Yeah, this is pretty clean, in my opinion. I don't think this looks too bad at all. And so the Lumix G7 is outputting at 1080p60 right now. And so we'll have to see in the video file what it actually reads as. But again, with this device, I am so far very impressed. Um, looks pretty darn good, in my opinion. So we're going to switch over to... Let's try this... Canon camcorder and see how the HDMI feed looks out of that. So one, two, three. All right, so right now I am going handheld with the Canon camcorder. And so now this camcorder is, gosh, probably coming on 15 years old. So I don't expect the visual quality to be quite that of the G7, which we just saw. But I will mention 
in the last test, we just recorded it, I checked it in uh, VLC, and it is indeed a 1080p60 file that was saved through OBS, and the bitrate was about 55 megabits per second. So pretty high bitrate, 1080p60 coming out of this um, HDMI capture card. So right now I'm just going handheld, and this camcorder generally has pretty good autofocus. So you can see up close, this looks pretty good, honestly. Um, so as it goes away, switches out to wide angle. This actually has a optical or optical uh, focus. There we go. So again, even though the clarity isn't quite as good as what we saw on the G7, I kind of expected that given the age of this camera. But still pretty darn good. I'm hoping the audio comes through on this. Um, it looks like it is through OBS. Um, but this is audio straight from the Canon camcorder. So we'll have to see how this does. Alright, awesome. So, three, two, one. Let's switch out to the next GoPro. Alright, so what we have right here, we got audio coming out of the GoPro Hero 6. As you can tell with the Hero 6, it's a much wider angle. Um, colors look a little bit more washed out. And again, I think it's because we're shooting indoors. You can see kind of all the harsh lighting that I have. And that makes the other cameras look actually pretty darn great. Uh, but with a camera like this, an action camera, not quite as impressive. Uh, but that being said, the clarity is still pretty darn good for such an inexpensive capture card. And hopefully the audio on this is coming through as clearly as I think it is as well. Um, so good news is we got 1080p60 recordings out of the G7, 1080p60 out of the Canon Vixia. And same thing with the GoPro Hero 6 right here. So pretty darn awesome. Um, so again, what I can't say is that whether or not this capture card is going to be very long lived. Um, generally, I'm, let me feel if it gets hot at all. Let me go reach over. Not feeling hot or anything, maybe a little bit warm plugged into the computer as it streams to OBS. Um, but that being said, for the price, it doesn't seem so bad at all. So this is GoPro Hero 6 quality. Um, I'm pretty impressed for the price. So is this going to be as good as the higher end uh, capture cards out there? Probably not. Um, will this work with video game consoles? Probably to some degree. Can't guarantee it, but I think as a webcam replacement, I think this is a very good value option. So let me get back to my main setup and we can have some final thoughts. One, two, three. All right, so we're back. So to sum things up, I think honestly, this is a pretty darn good value considering that it works at all. So for $15.99, um, this thing was outputting 1080p 60 video, which honestly for the price, I'm pretty darn impressed with that. So the best time to order one of these things though was probably about a month ago because I literally purchased this on May 3rd and it arrived today, June 3rd. So it took exactly one month to get from here to from China. So long delivery times, if you go on eBay and search for them right now, you can still see the same identical card in stock, multiple sellers, try and find one based in the USA. Um, I was kind of skeptical coming into this, thinking this was gonna be really cheap and expensive and not worth it, um, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So we're getting some pretty high bitrate files um, over USB 2.0. I did use USB 3.0, um, so if you have a USB 3 port, I would recommend using that over the USB 2. Um, but I, I was outputting um, 1080p 60 from here, 1080p from here. The GoPro was set to 2.7K output and input, and it was still outputting 1080p 60 files. So pretty interesting to talk about. Um, overall, I am impressed, so I like seeing that. So really interesting device. If you have any questions about what I have right here, um, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, just go to eBay, search 1080p HDMI capture, and you're going to see these devices probably all over the place. Seems like a relatively new product. Maybe it is. If you buy one and it doesn't work, be sure to leave a comment below. Let people know what you got here. Uh, but besides that, everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.